go. Let's make some room for the the beast. The altered beast. Remember that game, Altered Beast? That was a good game. Rise from your graves. Rise, that's right, rise from your graves. He you turned like remember you can like do the fireball and run real quick in different directions? Oh yeah. Okay guys, here we go. This is what I did. This is super, 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 super cool. You ready for super, super coolness? Okay, check this out. So it's gonna be a mess inside because I have a bunch of a bunch of shiz in here. Um, let's pull this out. Pull this out because this is not part of it. Okay. So here we go. Thank you, Will. I got the mic. So this is inside of my my Apple II now. I took the, the the motherboard that was in there out and I wrapped it in some um, some static wrap and it's in the back in the warehouse. And I'm gonna mount, this is the Raspberry Pi, this is a B plus. And it's okay, it works fine. And this is the new controller that I made. So last week, hey Josh. Josh Starnes is here. No way. Yeah. Right on. We were talking about you the other day, Josh. Jeremy thinks you drive a, a Ford Ranger. <laughs> and I and I guess that you drove a either a Subaru or a Crown Victoria. <laughs> I don't know how it came up. I don't know how it came up. We were started, we were talking about old people in the forum who haven't seen in a long time. And then Alan was like, what about Josh drives? I don't know. And then... Alan guessed a truck, or Jeremy guessed a truck, and I guessed a Subaru or a Crown. I don't know why I guessed a Crown Vic. I guessed a Ford pickup, and Alan guessed a Chevy pickup. Oh, yeah, he did guess a Chevy, yeah. Don't let us down. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Josh, tell us. I'm not going to move forward on this. I'm going to sit here like this. <laughs> no one's going to be able to see the apple. Here, I'll just start putting things away. <laughs> putting this away. And it goes. Okay, everyone start chanting, Josh. Josh. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, Josh. What do you drive? Is it a robot car? Tell them what you drive so we can see the apple pie. Yeah, the music's good today. He drives a RAV4. Oh, man, we were all wrong. We were all wrong. Well, you were closest because you said, you said a Ranger. And RAV4 starts with letter R. I guess. That's true. Hmm. <laughs> Electric bubble. Okay, now that we know that Josh drives, and then, whew, we, can all, <sighs> we can all relax now because that was really... Stressful. A lot of anxiety waiting for that answer. <laughs> You're just stalling, man. You're just stalling. That I'm just stalling because this is the coolest thing in the world. Okay, here we go. Back to the apple pie. So here's what I did. I pulled out the uh, motherboard, and I put it in the back in a static wrap so we can keep it for a future day. Jeremy gave me gave me gripe about that because he's like, oh, man, why would you take it out? You should leave it in there. And I'm like, dude, it doesn't need to be in there. It's fine. It's from 1978. Come on. So... On the Raspberry Pi, I've installed um, RetroPie, which has a emulator called LinApple, which we'll load up in a second. And it's connected with this adapter here that hooks up to the, the original power supply, so it gets its power from the original power supply. And then this USB cable that's plugged into the, into the uh, Raspberry Pi is connected to this. And they made this 
This is a, um, it's called a Pro Micro. So it's a little tiny Arduino and it has, um, it's like a Teensy and it can emulate USB devices. So this is actually emulating three different USB devices right now. It's emulating a keyboard, it's emulating a joystick, and it's emulating a mouse. So this cable, this ribbon cable, is connected to the keyboard of the, uh, of the Apple, and this cable here is connected to this joystick, the Apple II analog joystick. All right? And what I can do is I can switch modes between um, mouse mode, joystick mode, and different keyboard modes as well with different control keys using the code that I had created. And I published the code on the, uh, the video, the page for the live hack for this video if you wanted to check it out. So this is the, I was going to get Jeremy to create this as a PCB and get it manufactured, but Jeremy actually has a job to do apparently or something. So um, he didn't have time. And the toughest part about actually designing this board um, wasn't the fact that I'm a <laughs> terrible at organizing all these wires and picking wire colors, was these two resistor values. It may not seem like a big deal, but what happened is is we were uh, trying to f hook up, because it's an analog joystick, trying to hook up um, the joystick to the AD ADC port to the Pi, and uh, no, sorry, the, uh, the, uh, the Arduino, and what we ended up with was um, values that just didn't seem right. So it turns out that when we looked at the actual motherboard of the Apple II, on the motherboard there was a four uh, resistors right beside the joystick port, and they were actually um, pull-down resistors. So I guess what happened is on the Apple II they used these uh, resistors on the motherboard to pull down the value. So you think it would all be done inside of the joystick, but for some reason they did it inside of on the actual motherboard itself. Um, maybe it's because they had paddles as well. I don't know if you guys have ever seen game paddles, but they were they were originally made for uh, like playing games like Pong and Circus. Okay, so without further ado, okay, so here's what I did. Um, I don't know if a mouse works in here. No, it doesn't look like a mouse does work in here. Okay, cool. So I can't show you a mouse in this window. But I'll show you how this works. So this is the RetroPie emulator that loads up. And I can use the keyboard um, to select different games or different emulators, OK? And what I just did is if you hear that beep, listen to this noise. What those sounds are is me putting the keyboard in different modes. And I could do so by hitting Control A. Control A will turn the number pads into uh, an actual joystick, like a keyboard pad. So you know how they give NumLock? Well, the old Apple didn't have NumLock. <laughs> you didn't have like 8 was up and 2 was down. So what I could do is I can hit Control A. And when it goes high, that means it, this is a NumLock mode. So I can actually use this as arrow keys. And then Control A again t two times beeps lower, which puts us back in the number pad mode. And then with a control Z, it goes high. That puts the joystick in joystick mode. And if I hit it again twice, it puts the joystick in uh, mouse mode. Okay, so I can switch between mouse mode and joystick mode. So let's go back to here. And then what I can do is I can move back and forth. And I can select the Apple emulator. And we can go into games, we'll say. And let's take a look at action games. And I don't know, what's a fun game we can choose that uses the uses the, uh, the joystick here so I can show you. Ooh, BC Quest for Tires. That's a fun game. I used to like that game. So she's loading. There we go. So now I can use the joystick, and let's see what mode it's in. Okay, now it's in joystick mode. So I can say number of players one, and now I could use the joystick. So I can hold the buttons down, I can move left, 
I can move right, and I can jump. So this game is super, super intense. I need complete focus. Oh, Zot! <laughs> Oh no, I'm not going fast enough. So that's this running with the with the um, Raspberry Pi. Now I'm going to show you the Raspberry Pi running Windows. Okay, so let's do that. Let me go get um, the hard drive that I use to boot this off of, and then I'm going to show you this Raspberry Pi boot up in Windows. So one second. Okay, so let's switch the view here so you can see what I'm going to see. I shut this down. Okay, so what I have here are two things that you need to run Raspberry Pi on, or to run Windows in the Raspberry Pi. Now, I will warn you right now, it is painfully slow, okay? So don't expect to be running Easy Builder on the Raspberry Pi. Now, there are um, distributions and programs of Windows, versions of Windows, which you can get, which will lighten the load to make Windows um, not require as much resources. If you find something like that, try it. Is if you can make if you can make uh, Windows run faster on this, then it might be useful. But it's pretty slow. So here we go. So what I'm going to do first is um, take my Raspberry Pi and I have an SD card here. It's a small little SD card. It's only 16 gigabytes. Okay. And then you take the SD card out of here. This is a 32 gigabyte. It's got my Linux on it. I'll put that away for now. Okay. Now this SD card is going to run the swap partition. Okay, this is, the, this is the paging file, Marco. It's going to run on here. Because I got the paging file to work, it just can't run on the SSD. It has to run on the SD. And now this is my SSD. So this is actually like a 512 meg SSD. It's a little overboard for what I need, but I just had it lying around. So put this here, and you plug this into the, into the Pi. Okay. And that's it. And now what I have to do now is just power it on. So we'll switch over to the HDMI capture mode. And here it comes. So it's booting up. Oh, looks like it's asking for, no, I can't seem to type on, this device is not being detected to type as a keyboard. I might have to plug in a different keyboard here. Okay, let me go grab a different keyboard. I think what happened is um, because I just booted into Linux and then booted back into here, I have to go and configure the boot partition. So I needed keyboard. One second. Okay, let's try this.
Okay, so we're going to go into the BIOS. Now this is a U, uh, EUFI BIOS. EUFI BIOS created by somebody on the internet who uh, made it work with the Raspberry Pi. And we can go into our boot maintenance manager. And we can go into our boot options. And then we can change the boot order. And you're going to see here that the UFI shell set for booting first. We want to change it to the 3.0 USB device. Okay, and now we'll save this configuration. We'll go back to the main screen. We'll go into Device Manager and Raspberry Pi configuration. There's a value in here that sometimes has to get reset. Clock speed max. Okay, good. So we're all fine. So now all we have to do is go to Boot Manager and say um, boot off a 3.0 device. Click. There we go. So there you go. So Windows is booting up. And this is running on, on the Raspberry Pi. It's booting up right now. You can see the screen. And you heard the beep. That just means that my um, my keyboard driver for my on my Arduino is working. So you do have to be a little patient while it boots up. It's like I said, it's not very quick. So like I warned you, it's it's a pretty slow boot up. Um, I can imagine there's a lot of services that can be turned off to speed up the performance. I also imagine that the Raspberry Pi 4, when it comes out, will be a little quicker. There are other, are other options than the Raspberry Pi um, for Windows. There's the Snapdragon Qualcomm development board. I haven't checked it out yet, but apparently that runs Windows pretty quick. And there we go. So now we're in Windows. Um, so you can see the mouse moving. And this is what's really neat. If you look at the little screen there, see the joystick? I'm actually moving the mouse with the joystick. So this is an Apple II joystick. Super cool, right? And then I can go down and click on the start button here. And eventually start button comes up and I can start typing with the keyboard. So now I'm typing on the Apple II keyboard. Oh. I don't know why I can't run Notepad here. That's funny. Oh, it's loading up a web browser. That's cool. Wild. So I have a folder here called DJ, and I think inside of here I have um, an Apple emulator. Let me see. There we go. Apple emulator. Doesn't look like I have a lot of games or anything on here to play, but nonetheless, it's pretty wild that that we're, this is running Windows right now. Yeah, I think I think the Latte Panda is is pretty cool. Does Josh have one? Yeah, Josh did a um, a review of the Latte Panda. Remember? Oh. Okay. Yeah, he was like the very first to get it. Sorry, Josh. Whatever you wrote, um, it said message retracted. So I'm not sure. Okay, so let's see here. We can. Um, these are settings for the. So we can turn this into keyboard input for the joystick. There we go. 
and um, we can have our mockingboard sound put on. It doesn't really matter. We can turn that off because we don't have any sound hooked up to this thing for the time being. Let's see, different discs that are set up in configuration. There we go. So we can make this full screen. Um, with a button here, but first what we'll do is we'll select a different a disk to run. So <laughs> would I get a kick out of this? This is super funny to, to imagine, right? So what we're about to do is, uh, okay, let's go start and make this full screen. <clears throat> let's boot up. Okay, so... <laughs> This is an Apple, this is a Raspberry Pi running Windows, <laughs> which is running an Apple II emulator in an Apple II with an Apple II keyboard and a joy an Apple II joystick emulating a mouse. <laughs> it's super crazy to imagine, like all the, I don't know, the bizarreness of this whole thing. <laughs> super super awesome so I don't know this it's trying to run this I mean oh look at that hey Jer <laughs> so what we have here is a Raspberry Pi almost running Windows trying to emulate an Apple II <laughs> so it's it's a little difficult to uh to work with like I said it's I <laughs> see you later Josh here we can turn this off turn it back on it's probably quicker to boot to reboot the computer than it is to wait for it to boot up Oh, you know what we can do too? Let me show you this. So, even though like the Raspberry Pi is cool because it runs Windows and it's super slow and whatever, it's, it was just fun to do. What I'm actually been doing, instead of running everything like the way you see it, is um, I take the power right out of the Apple II. I take the Raspberry Pi right out because I don't need that either. And take this drive out. Don't need that anymore. wrapped up here clean that up there we go okay so this is what I've been doing actually is I got this this little thing so this is a this is a Windows computer I got from Gearbest and it's touchscreen so you don't need a monitor and it's got a bunch of USB inputs which is really convenient Ethernet everything you need so what I do with this is I've actually been using this as an emulator because I find, or as a the, the program for the emulator, because I can run everything on here, right? The Raspberry Pi is okay, but it's not nearly as powerful as a real Windows PC. So when you plug this in, Windows 8, time to up, upgrade that to Windows 10. So we can plug this in like this, place it inside of the computer, and then just hold the power button down, and boot it up, and run the cable like this. There we go, it's booting up. It's a bit of hot 
So I find this really, really, really cool. So this is how this is the configuration I had the other day when I was playing with uh, the emulator. Because with this configuration, um, I can run everything, right? The, the keyboard, the mouse, it's like it's fast. It runs real windows. I don't have to like wait 19 hours for everything I click on, like the Raspberry Pi. And I'm not criticizing the Raspberry Pi by any means. It wasn't made to run Windows, right? Like, <laughs> and Windows wasn't made for the Pi. I mean, the fact that it runs is remarkable. It's just not usable. One day it will be. If, uh, if Raspberry Pi Foundation is looking for some serious, huge adoption, like big time, um, they're going to want to be compatible with uh, with the Apple with uh, Windows. Of course, it does Windows updates <laughs> when I turn it on. There we go. So I have it booting right into the Apple. So I wrote this little basic program on a, on a boot disk. And I can use the mouse, right? Just like I had showed you before. So I can use this to move around and select options. So we can load, for example, some games. So I have a ton of games on here. So we can go into disks. And I have under games. Um, let's see. Action. Um, H hard hat Mac, which is cool. So I'm using the joystick to control this, right? But I'm not in joystick mode. I'm in mouse mode. Okay. And if I wanted to, I can use the keyboard too. For example, like I told you, so I can right now, if I hit like the number eight, nothing happens. But if I hit control A twice and it beeps, now I hit eight, I can move up and down. I can move back a directory with the arrow key hit enter so we go back to letter H and then select hard hat Mac and then I just use my use my mouse joystick oh this is so cool I don't even need to like where is it button there it is It's so cool. So now this is in mouse mode, right? So I'm, I can't play the game with this, but if I hit Control Z twice, there, now I'm in joystick mode. So now I can actually use this as a joystick. Oops, and die. This game is hard. Screw thing, that thing, the jackhammer, because the jackhammer puts makes me put these together like that. Oh, that was close. Nice. I've never been able to figure out this level though. Like I like the idea of this level a lot because there's lots of cool things happening, but like I don't know what to do here. Not a clue. 
like I'm supposed to do something, but what is it? Do I jump when it's closed or do I jump when it's open? Game over. All right, so I hit Control Z twice, put myself back into mouse mode, and I can select a different game. This is so cool. All right, good night, Will. So Jeremy is still hacking, so I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play games while Jeremy hacks. <laughs> this is this is pretty much the rest of my night now. I don't know how exciting it is for anybody else, but for me. <laughs> Let's see, what do I want to play next? Oh, I know. How about Prince of Persia? This is a long hack. Prince of Persia, here we go. I'm moving to only 1042. It feels later, but. All right, here we go. Prince of Persia. I am so bad at this game. <laughs> the worst. Let me try this again. You know, I don't think I've actually ever in my life since I've had this game been past. Uh, I'll show you where. This level, you know, the next level is the farthest I think I've ever gotten. It is a challenging game. So I think, oh, you know what I'm supposed to do? I'm supposed to, oh man, I know what I'm supposed to do. There was another side I was supposed to stand on the thing and it opened up the, the gate. Darn it. Okay. You know what makes it challenging is that it, it, was, a, it was like the first game of its time of its type to ever have physics like this. Yeah. And the, f the computers weren't totally fast enough to process it. So the lack of, pr of sp oh, processing power made it uh, challenging. So you weren't, it w you weren't like, uh, I don't know how to say it. You, you weren't rated on how good you were with your reflexes, you rated how well you adapted to the shitty performance of the computer. <laughs> like there was that game called uh, Dungeon Dra Dragon's Lair, which was like a laser disc game. And it played a, a video off a of laser disc and you had to hit the buttons, oh, see, this is, I can't even play this. You did the buttons on, on Dragon's Lair at like the right time in the right order. So it wasn't really much of a game as it was like a, like reflexes and memory. It was just a quarter sucker. Ah, let's put another game in here. All right, what do we have for the letter P's? Pac-Man, no one wants to play Pac-Man. Pinball. There's Pitfall again. I don't want to get into Pitfall again. That was too much. Oh, you know what? There was a game I was playing the other day, guys, and I want to finish playing it. Let's go back. It was called Zorro, and I saved the state of the game, so I should be able to restore the state with this button here. Go to uh, 
it's under advanced. There it is. Load state. Oh, Bruce Lee. That's what it was, not Zorro. Bruce Lee. Um, Bruce. There it is, Bruce Lee. So I think what I was supposed to do is I was supposed to run and jump over these things. Oh, darn it. The only thing that sucks though is when I, I keep having to change this, save the state. So every time I die, I have to go back and reload the state again. Because I, I want to keep my men. Here we go. Oh, death. I should make a shortcut key to be able to load and resave the state. It looks like it would be F12. F12 in the emulator. Oh, you know, that would be convenient. Maybe I'll just plug in this other keyboard I have and make this one F12 so that I can do it quicker. There we go. All right. Uh-oh. What happened here? My game froze. F what was it? F F12 load state. F12 load state. Yes. There we go. Oh, I landed right on it. Okay, F12, right? State file. Oh, Bruce Lee. Cool. That was quick. Shit. I mean, oops. Oh, yeah. Come on. You know, I got so far in this game the other day that now it's like it's hard to believe I even did it all because I'm I'm so bad at it right now. You should put a bio tiny in that thing. Oh, I was so close. Why didn't you? Like what? Talk to USB like to control it like a control a mouse. Oh, I could have helped you. You could have done that with an IO tiny. Yes, did it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do in here. You just have two microcontrollers. Yeah. One for your robot and then one for your... Uh, going to control mouse and stuff? What am I supposed to do in this? Oh. 
accidentally hit this pot under control. There we go. Okay, what am I supposed to get? I'm supposed to get that and that, but I can't get back up, so I guess I have to get back down. So I go this way. It's hard to believe, like, you look at these old games like this, we had to have really good imaginations to be able to understand what it was we were seeing. Why can't I go over? What's going on here? What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to get something? Um, am I supposed to... Oh, there we go. Karate kick it. Um... Which just opened up. Noth there we go. Okay, we'll save this. All right, what am I supposed to do here? Get this. Oh, and that was okay. And then we're going to climb up this. Cool. And then, nope, not do that. Uh oh. Darn it. So we get that. Go up. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Let's go up. Maybe I... Oh, I thought that was going to be it. Hmm. Do you think I'm supposed to make it all the way to the left? Like over here somehow? No way, because I die. For sure I die. Um, let me see. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Do I go back out here? I can't get back up there. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> Just keep doing the same thing. Hmm. Nope. Definitely not that. There's no way I could run quick enough to be able to do that. I see the, the flashing lantern to the right, so I know I'm supposed to get there somehow. See, that's what's weird. Looks like I can get through if I jump. If I jump like that, a little closer to the edge. didn't help either okay I think ugh, ugh. am I supposed to punch something 
Maybe I'm supposed to punch these things. Nope. <laughs> Let's go back this way. Okay, those guys are here. And then back here again. There's nothing I can do here. Is there something I'm supposed to do here? never need to apologize, Jeremy. <laughs> People are watching you because they think it's fun. I love that you got your safety glasses on when you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> that looks cool. There's like a YouTube page that explains how to play this game. Oh yeah, I forgot that uh, that's another reason why I use this in that module is because you need so many ADD ports, you need six ADD ports uh, for one of them, so I uh, only have two in the kitchen. Alright, that's it for tonight. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to try to use my mouse to stop the live stream. Oh, yes. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, my gosh. Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do now. Oh, yeah, I figured it out. I'm the best. I'm the greatest. I'm Bruce Lee. Kung Fu. Kung Fu, Kung Fu, Kung Fu. So I can climb up here, wait for that thing to go. Okay, let's wait for it to go, and we'll go right away this time. Yes. Get up there. Oh, geez. Geez whiz sandwiches. You hungry for some G's whiz? Uh oh, did I go quick enough? I don't know. I'm going to save myself right here. Oh, yeah. Who is your daddy and what does he do? Save myself again here. Oh, no.
Drop down. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't even pay attention to those ones. Oh, gosh. That's okay, though, because I started it up here. Is it going to be the right timing? I don't know if it is. Oh, it's not. I should have waited. Okay. Let's wait. Do they all go at the same time? Hold on here. It looks like they all go at the same time. Those little spider things. Yeah, they do. Oh, I'm not sure what I can do to make it better. Nope, I definitely can't hide from it. Hmm. Jeez whiz. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I did it! I did it! Yes. This game is intense, Jer. Oh no, I don't wanna save. It was saved right before I died. That would have sucked. Shit. I'll save myself at the top of this level. Right here, I'll save myself. Here I go. So what do you think I'm supposed to do? Oh! Mm. Make a video of that, Jer. I wonder what I'm supposed to do. I made it. Did I win the game? I won the game. I got the treasure. Nice. I won the game. Got the treasure. Treasure got the treasure. Oh, now it's like starts over. But this time the guys are super tough and fast. I don't want to do it again. I finished it. All right. It is home time. It's enough apple too. Oh, how do I? Mouse is weird. Oh, my thing's weird. Okay. Goodbye, humans.